Hello everybody, it's Deb. I'm um, playing along with the House Mouse collab with Crafty Bean, who is Tina. It used to be run by Gracie21 and Tina took it over for her this year. And I asked if I, I, I know the uh, collab participants were already picked, but I asked if I could play along and Tina said yes. So um, if I get it, I'll put the link to all the others in the description box below. Otherwise, head on over to Crafty Bean. Um, I'm putting this up at the same time as everyone else, so, but I don't know that I got an email with the, the list of participants, so I'll, I'll check. If I did, I will have it below, and if not, I will um, refer you over to Crafty Bean's channel and I put a link to her below and then you can get the list from there okay I only did one um, card this time because a I've been sick and B I just ran out of time but I have a lot of house mouse stamps I had I had gone on a mission to find <laughs> house mouse stamps a while back early last year and late the year before and um, so I have a whole um, plastic bin full of them. I don't have them organized real well or anything, but um, this is the one I chose to use. I didn't really want to do spring or summer yet, although I could use it, but, and it's Valentine's week this week. It was, uh, the 14th was, so, and this had a heart on it, but also it's cross stitch and it's friends crafting together, if you will helping each other out and that's what I uh, liked about it so not just that it was a heart for Valentine's Day but you've got scissors and the embroidery floss laying around and three little ones uh, helping each other out here so I thought that was really cute and um, so I used that and I did use a couple Stampin' Up! products but I'm not really gonna go over I'll just tell you the colors of the cardstock is lovely lipstick basic black and whisper white and I started off using um this is the card sorry <laughs> let's put this down on it maybe I don't know what the best way to do this is I need better lighting so there we go I think that's better um I started off using my Prismacolor um Premier colored pencils and I started with the um, embroidery hoop and uh, the cross stitch the heart I started with the heart and this but and I used a little gam saw on it to blend it but it still looked really shiny waxy and glossy uh, I don't know streaky to me so I didn't care for that so I didn't redo it, but I did get out my Stampin' Up! blends, and I used several colors. I think this is the Flirty Flamingo color, but I, I just did it over top what I'd already colored. And I just briefly went over the cross stitch that I painstakingly <laughs> done with a pencil in, a, in sort of a hot pink. Um, I went over that with lovely lipstick also. And then the mice... Um, I almost immediately switched on them to the blend. So I used Smoky Slate, Light and Dark, and um, Petal Pink, Light and Dark, for their little ears, tail, feet, nose, and whatnot. And then um, Night of Navy, Light and Dark, for the scissor handle. I did use a silver um, Prismacolor for the ends of the scissors, and then I went over them with Wing Costella. Same with the thin needle here, and I just did a real fine line of wing of stone. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on them because I want there, there you can see they're a little shiny. I wanted the, the scissors and I wanted them to look like they were metal, you know, shiny metal. And then, um, this little guy is so cute, he's all tangled up in the embroidery floss <laughs> that's supposed to be going over to the needle here, and uh, he's all got himself all wrapped in it like a little like a cat would almost <laughs> it's kind of cute I like it and then I used um, I think Highland Heather and Flirty Flamingo here and lovely lipstick and just went over I had actually already colored this one with the Prismacolor pencils too and I went over it with lovely lipstick 
So, and then this sending love, um, I don't know why I just put that away. Um, okay, I got it out of this, um, I don't know, I didn't. I got it out of one called, um, Floral Frames. One second, guys. Here it is. It's in the annual catalog, and I just used this Sending Love because I had this white space up here and I was looking for a sentiment that would fill up this space. Um, oh, and I used, I didn't, it has little like furs around or hairs around the, each of the areas. So I thought, felt like it was carpet. I used ivory in the background on the carpet. It's a little bit different shade than the petal pink I used for their skin tones. Anyway, so that, um, and I stamped that in lovely lipstick, and then this is a Flirty Flamingo ribbon that's in uh, the current occasions catalog. So, um, yeah, that's it. And then on the inside, I just did the black with the white panel and left it blank to send a note to whoever you want to, and maybe, I mean, whoever I would want to, um, and maybe a crafty friend, since it's about crafting and friendship. So, um that's it guys I hope you liked it I will do my best to do more um, cards next time um, I do find it difficult to color these with colored pencils <laughs> um, it was taking forever and like I said it looked too waxy to me so if you know how to fix that let me know and I didn't think the Prismacolor Premier were that waxy but I guess they are and uh, so yeah, that's it. All right, hop on over to everyone else if you haven't already. You probably have because I'm kind of on the bottom of the chain somewhere in there, I hope. Um, anyway, and uh, I can't wait to see what everyone else did. I love the little house mounts characters here. And I didn't, um, I have a chart that tells you what colors the different characters are supposed to be. Like some are brown and some are gray, but I just went with all gray this time. And that's it. I hope you like it, and I'll talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.